So today has been an eventful day with my car. I just got back from finishing the paint job. I painted the wheels of the car. I loved how the matte black hubcaps look so much that I ended up painting the entire wheel. I'll post a video about that. But more excitingly, I got an update and the update was 2020.12.11, which has the beta version of the stop sign and traffic light recognition. I think I have to turn it on first. So when I get to the bottom of this hill, I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna test it. I've, I haven't done anything with this yet, so I'm super excited to see how it turns out. So let me get down here, we'll turn it on and then we'll see what happens. All right, so Put the car in park, check, go into autopilot. Traffic, oh, here it is. Traffic light and stop sign control beta. Turn on, yes please. There's some stuff here. I'm just gonna hit yes, it's on. All right, so here we go. Hopefully this car goes through this light and I miss it. Please miss the light, please miss the light. Yes. Oh, cruise cr control's unavailable. Oh, there. Stopping for traffic. Oh, it did it. It did it. I didn't do anything. Oh, and it says autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. It did it. It stopped at the light. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to go straight through this and hopefully hit one of these. There's three lights coming up. Hopefully I'll hit one of those. Oh, stopping for traffic control 500 feet. Why is it stopping? The light's green. So, interesting. It was going to stop at that light regardless. Use accelerator or gear stock to continue. Oh, so this is super interesting. If it sees a traffic light, it stops regardless. If you want to bypass. So here, we've got a traffic light. It's gonna tell me that it sees a traffic light. Stopping for traffic light control 500 feet. Use accelerator or gear stalk to continue. So if you wanna go through the light, you have to hit the gas or the accelerator or the gear stock to tell it to bypass the light. So it will stop at a light regardless of if it's green, yellow, or red. Here's another one coming up. All right, this is super interesting. So there's a green light right now up ahead. It's still green, still green. The car is gonna recognize the, yeah, it recognizes the light in 600, 500 feet. If I hit down on this, the stock, the right stock, it will keep going. Otherwise it would have stopped at that light. Super interesting. So it doesn't, it recognizes, it sees that the light's green. So here, it sees that the light's green. You can see it on there, but I have to hit to go through the intersection. Otherwise it stops regardless of what you tell it to do. So I'm gonna put on cruise control or autopilot. I hate going around this turn. Oh, it's doing a really, wow, it did a really good job. Now this light is red. It, I'm not gonna tell it to obviously go and it stopped. It stopped really far away from the light. So that was a little interesting. It stopped, I don't know if you could see that. It stopped a good 20 feet from the actual line. So I wouldn't have been sitting on the light sensor. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna get over one. Cruise control's on, the light is red. It's stopping, it's doing it, all right. This was a great one. This was perfect. All right, it stopped. I wonder if it'll go when the light turns green. I'm gonna test that. So we'll see what happens when the light turns green. It should go, right? It's not even in hold. So the car stops, but it doesn't go into hold, which is interesting. It's just stopped. Usually when you stop at a light and you let off all right, light's green. So it wouldn't go. 
I hope I get this light. I want to see what happens when the light turns from red to green. I would think the car would go, but it didn't last time. All right, so let me put it. We're back in full self-driving, all right. Won't let me go faster than 50, which is the speed limit. Oh, come on. I really want to get this light. Yes. All right. So the light's red. All right. So we're stopping. Great. All right. So the car stopped. That's a plus. Now, in theory... Oh, so... So it stopped. So when the light turns green, I have to hit the stock or the gas to start going. So let's see what happens. Green, ah, oh, there, that's how you do it. So the car starts going. All right, so here, yeah, it's already detecting the intersection, stopping for traffic control, 300 feet. There, it sees the stop sign, it's stopping. This is great. All right, so my camera died my card is filled on my DSLR, so we're only using the GoPro now, but this is awesome. All right, so here we have a stop sign, and just from the mapping system and navigation, it knows that there is an intersection up ahead, and it's stopping for traffic control 400, 300, 200. It, this is so good. The stop sign, I really like. That works super well. We're in autopilot. And it sees, uh, again, the, the stop signs I really like. I really like that for this, it sees the stop sign and it's going to stop. The one thing I wish it could do is take a turn, which it won't, I don't think. We'll try that. So... It stays, oh, it says autopilot unable to proceed, please take over. Yeah, it won't do it. So this is really neat. I mean, what you saw from the video, it's definitely a little bit finicky. And it is interesting that when you're in full self-driving and it's coming up to a light, even if the light's green, you have to tell the car to keep going. But the car will stop at stop signs and, and lights now, which is just absolutely bonkers. So I'm gonna play with this over the next couple days. That This is just a really short video to show you what it does. I think it's pretty interesting. There's some other videos out there that go into a little bit more detail, but I'm glad that it's here. The Model Y for a while didn't have the Sentry Mode viewer, which it now has, and it now has this. This is, I'm just psyched. Thanks for watching, get better. Be better. We'll see you in the next one. See ya!